Who the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clementi's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look. About you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Hit this the hit-and-run driver. I owe you one. 10-4. So, uh, how's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were acting like a speeding vehicle. For our boss that day. That's Roger all I that. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Next time, get a better disguise than a phony <laughs> fucking mustache. I'll show you two pricks from a mile away. In pursuit yeah, of a hit and run driver. Talk about this right now. Wherever you are. Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Well, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough or nothing, how come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clementi's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now, take a seat, Henry. So... Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. 
I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. Now we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it. Don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay. You better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See you. did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shove this Leo, Leo, put it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with okay, you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Now what? Hey, maybe we could hide in the shower. That ain't the brightest idea I ever heard, right, kid. Get easy, Henry. Put the gun down, and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. 
Look, I didn't know he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Rito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Get me over to the train station, if you mind. This town's been good to me, but now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle! Gonna tell Frank what happened? Roger that. Him. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Lee. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric. Your husband, what? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Oh, and he... does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be alright. Alright, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay?
You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just just stay away. <laughs> the place! Do it! Now! Barn! <laughs> you dago cunt! Barn! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Get out of there! Please stop your engine and get out of the vehicle. I'm gonna have to give you a fine. Sorry, officer. I'm broke. Hey, sorry, left my wallet at home. Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming. I'm coming. What were you, barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. What the hell are these things? Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house oh, down. Great. I want to know who they are the and where they're clumsy. operating out of. Did it get any worse? Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. 
Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick Joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Get in. Yeah. All right. So you heard anything about the mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take the spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shit old joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. The best. I'm going in. Come on, think of something. Hurry up. You shoot like my sister. Show yourself! Hey, there's more of them in that car. Let's go, they're getting away. All right, come on, you drive. I got a Caucasian man carrying a handgun. Copy that. Take care of that, huh? This is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. See you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. <laughs> Why 
What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. <laughs> 